Hi and welcome back to English with Malik. Our today's lesson is about future indefinites. Okay, and again, let me clarify. Some people might say it is future simple. No worries. Okay, but for a distinction, we say that future simple is with will be. Okay, like I will be here. I will be at home. I will be in the library. And future indefinite is with form of verb. Okay, and how it is? Let's see. We say, for example, I will meet him tomorrow. Okay, I will meet him tomorrow. What's the idea? The idea is that for future indefinite, we are using will with first form of verb. That's the key idea. Okay, and uh, interestingly, again, this is also a simple thing because whatever the subject we have, either it is I, you, we, they, he, he, it, one person, Sam, or two people, Tom and Sam. In any case, this will be the structure of it. I will meet him tomorrow. You will meet him tomorrow. We will meet him tomorrow. They will meet him tomorrow. He will meet him tomorrow. She will meet him tomorrow. Tom and Sam will meet him tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, it will meet him tomorrow. If it's a robot, you know, uh, robots are very sophisticated these days. So uh, there is no harm in saying that it will meet him tomorrow. Th this is what we do in present indefinite. Will with first form of verb. Okay. The negative is will not or a short form won't okay and then the first form of verb so you say i will not meet him tomorrow you will not meet him tomorrow he will not will meet him tomorrow she will not meet him tomorrow or the short form sam won't meet him tomorrow tom and sam won't meet him tomorrow it won't meet him tomorrow okay that's what we will do in this case how do we make a question? Well, the question is simple. We take out this will. We bring it here. Okay. So you say, will I or you or we or they or he or she or it or one individual or two individuals? Meet him tomorrow. Okay. So the question will be simple. We take out will. Okay. Will I meet him tomorrow? Will you meet him tomorrow? Will they meet him tomorrow? Will he meet him tomorrow? Will she meet him tomorrow? Will it meet him tomorrow? Will Tom meet him tomorrow? Will Tom and Sam meet him tomorrow? This is how we'll do. Uh, again, a little clarification. Some people think that we you can use shell with i and v well like i i told you in uh in the in the class when we studied future simple that i and v shell can be used with them but it used in the older you know uh times not in today's modern world in today's modern world with whatever the subject we have we use will, but if somebody is using it, if, if somebody say says uh, that uh, I shall meet him tomorrow or we shall meet him tomorrow, do not fight with them. Do not say that it is wrong. It's okay, but like I said in the modern English, we do not use shall in this case. Okay, so uh, as a quick review, just see that future indefinite is with will and first form of verb. Okay, and whatever the subject we have, I, you, we, they, he, she, it, Tom, which is one individual, Tom and Sam, two, two people, the form will be the same. There won't be any change. 
negative is with will not i will not you will not we will not they will not or the short form is won't okay and the question is with uh, taking out will will i will you will we will he will she will it this is how we will make our future uh, in in the in the question form okay uh, again uh, th there are a, there are a variety of verbs in english language so a lot of verbs can be used uh, there is a practice that you can do uh, for example if you uh, think about the coming sunday what will you do the coming sunday think and make a few sentences or write them down as well for example you can say that uh, next sunday because it will be off i will not get up early i will get up a bit late then i will have a bath i will change my clothes i will have uh, my breakfast then i will go out and meet some of my friends we will do some shopping we will have uh, some discussion about our next project uh, we won't have lunch but we will we will have an early uh, dinner uh, then i will come back my home i will watch tv and then i will go to bed so by practicing a little by making a few sentences verbally or in written you can practice this as well i hope uh, uh, this helps you and you have learned uh, it properly if there are any comments anything that you want to ask anything to, that you don't understand do ask me uh, i would be happy to help you until then bye